Hello, uh, this is Mars. Uh, this video I want to share with you my new bot called Gmail Farming Bot. All right, so first why, uh, I would like to talk about why we uh, need this bot and also why this bot is really useful. So we now like um, when your Gmail is trusted and they basically can make sure your Gmail accounts are good and also not get suspended or disabled by Google. And then there's a way to kind of find out what's uh, currently uh, what Google think about your uh, Gmail account. So there's the one of the is you basically check the recapture three score, and then you can see here right now the screenshot and highlight my uh, for specific list account my score is zero point nine, and then the score actually is from zero point one to zero point nine. When you get a score like 0.9, most of the time they Google kind of think you are a real human. If you only get a score from 0.1, most of the time Google think that is you are a bot, not a real human. So our goal is basically try to either you um, the Gmail either you create by yourself or you purchase the Gmail account from the vendor. We basically just try to improve that trust score. Okay, and that is mainly list bot four. Okay, so now let me sh kind of share with you the features come with this bot. So basically, this bot will, uh, after you add your Gmail accounts, it basically when you turn it on, it will um, generate random Gmail activities, like send out the G send out the email, uh, check the email, and also reply to email automatically. You don't need to do anything at all. Basically, the bot just take care of that for you. And also, if you enable this feature, it depends on the proxy you use. You basically will also generate YouTube activity. Like basically go to YouTube, watch the video randomly, and either subscribe that uh, YouTube channel or something like that. And so that way, um, it also can improve your score. All right, so also another features come with this bot will basically auto check the recapture three score like I mentioned previously. And also uh, since every time it's kind of like a credit score, so you don't want to check your score too often. So most the, the default settings right here and also based on um, the research from other people, other members, we kind of recommend like you check the recapture three score like maybe three or five, once per three or five days. And it also take care automatically by the boss. The bot will know what is the, uh, the day you check last time, and then you will make sure you don't check the uh, that sort too often. Once you, your Gmail account reach like 0 0.9, it means that your account is really good. So most of the time when I use this type of account, I try to kind of uh, publish some review or maybe do some pin draw or maybe do some GMB, um, create some GMB and get some, get verified something. But either way, you can use it. But the main of this bot is try to improve your uh, Gmail trust score. All right, so let me just uh, connect to my server. I want to show you the live, of, live demo of this bot. Just give me one second. All right, so I just connect to my server and then you can see here Gmail farming bot. So let me click the settings page. The bot is really simple to use. You just need to first use to locate your uh, Gmail account file. And then uh, the second one is a random account. It means like, for example, if you have like a lot of account for in my case, like when I purchase Gmail account from the vendor, maybe I purchased 200, 300, even 1000 account. And then if I just don't want the bot to always start from the first one, I can just turn it on to basically let the bot to random uh, select the account from the list and then generate activity that way. Okay, and also YouTube activity, I can turn it on or turn it off. Like based on my task, if you turn it on, it basically can improve your trust code much, much faster than you turn it off. But sometimes it depends on the proxy you use, I know sometimes the, the bandwidth, you, the process you get actually has a limited bandwidth. You might need to turn it off because we all know watch your video actually take a lot, use a lot of bandwidth. So it's up to you. But right now, 
I'm just going to kind of show you the quick demo and then just turn it off and then let me start running the bot. Okay, let me go to the instance. So the bot base will, will uh, check the file to make sure um, the Gmail account is good and then you will log into your Gmail account. Okay, and then um, it will start generating the activity like I mentioned before. You will check Gmail and also either send or reply the email randomly and after that if you do um, enable YouTube activity it basically will go to YouTube and then uh, watch a vid YouTube video all right so but, but right now let's try to uh, log into uh, my Gmail account and also one more thing I want to mention is this bot does support multi-threading. So right now, only one run one thread. You basically can run multiple. But again, since um, Xenobox, the, the platform I use to create a bot, it need kind of a good resource from your server or from your PC. So when you run multiple thread, you basically need to make sure you do have inner CPU or RAM. Otherwise, it will cause some issues. So it depends on your... Uh, PC, how powerful is it? it? And then you can kind of see like how many thread you want the bot to run at the same time. All right, so now I log into the Gmail account. And then first of all, try to check some email randomly. And then just give me one second. It's kind of, okay, cool. Now as you can see now. All right, so we must wait a little bit and then you will start checking the email all right and also one more thing i want to kind of kind of just mention the the best practice is uh, i will recommend after you receive the account or you create a gmail account to subscribe some um some uh newsletter web so subscribe some newsletter like for example, can go to Groupon or CAN or any any website and subscribe because that way, basically you will receive the email from them every day, and then so the access to normal and then also when the box is log into your Gmail account also can basically check that email randomly. So the bot, you can see the bot basically check the email and also sometimes it will just delete that email. It's just kind of like real human because sometimes when you check the email and the email doesn't make sense or you don't want to keep it, it will basically just delete it. So right now the bot will just randomly check the email and then also the how many email it will check is randomly as well. So sometimes three emails, sometimes five emails, sometimes 10 email. So it all randomly. So basically this after I kind of just most of the time when I add the accounts, I add the account info uh, to the bot, it will surrender and do this thing. All right, so this is just kind of Gmail activity. The bot is running now. I don't want to make this live demo too long, but you kind of get the point. So, okay. So let me pause the video. I also want to show you kind of the case study uh, after I start running this bot. So let me pause the video and then open my report all right so this is my um gmail account file all right so column a and column b and basically will be the gmail account info so the main thing i want to share with you is when you add the account info to this your gmail account file in the beginning they basically there's no info right here all right but here i still add some Basically, the bot will know, okay, so for my, in my case, this account was added on November 6th, okay? So basically, the, the bot will just add a day, what is when it kind of start running or generating activity on this account. So my case is like, it starts from November 6th, and the last activity day will basically December 18th, and you can see the trust score is 0 0.9. So when I receive this account from the vendor and then I start running this bot, in the beginning, I, I remember the score is around like 0.4 or 0.5, something like that. But again, it depends on which vendor you get accounts from, okay? 
So it also will show what's the latest, uh, the um, the latest check date. So December seventeen, it shows zero point nine. So you can see most of account right now is zero point nine already. So this is really good. I mean, it does help me to kind of imp uh, increase the trust score. So kind of that way, I can make sure this account can stay longer, and then want to. I mean, I don't need to worry about that. This account will get suspended or disabled by Google. All right, so let me go back to the presentation file, and then. All right, so we just watched the live demo and also case study of this bot. All right, so the price for this bot is one hundred dollar one time fee, and after that will be twenty five dollar per month. So I will keep upgrading or um, I will say maintaining this bot. So and that's about it. And thank you so much for your time. And if you have any question, please reach out to me, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, and talk to you later. Bye.